What is going on, all my secret agents? What's going on, guys? Hanging out. Secret agent stash here, doing it again. We're chilling. Secret agent headquarters. Crypto intelligence agency. You know it. Every Wednesday, hanging out playing Splinterlands, like we always do. Like we always do. That's what you guys are here for, right? Splinterlands, grinding together. We call it a little bit of NFT game grind. Should we change it? Should we change it, guys? Should we change it to, to the Web3 game grind? That doesn't sound as nice. It doesn't sound as nice to me. Web3? Web3 game grind? NFT game grind sounds good, actually. I don't know. What, what, what do you guys think? Do we, do we change the, the name of it? I, I don't even know if we're going to keep that anyways <laughs> over the time, but we're doing the same thing anyways. We're playing uh, some, some, uh, some of your favorite Web3 games, and today we're playing a little bit of Splinterlands. We're going to jump in. We're going to show you a little bit of how to play. You guys get to see how to earn some rewards. I'm going to answer any questions you guys have. Uh, you know, sometimes I even accept a challenge here and there. You know, uh, I'll, I'll take a challenge from, from some of the players in the uh, chat. Or uh, what, I, what, I, what I actually thought was kind of fun the other day is people in chat were just throwing out random things that they wanted me to try and do. So they're like, they're like, uh, you know, go win, uh, uh, go win a match using this shitty card. And so they'll try and find like, a, like, like a, the, wor the worst card. So I got to build a, build a, 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 a lineup around a crap card or a crap summoner or something. That's actually kind of interesting and a fun exercise to do. So I, I actually really enjoyed that. So. So we could do we could do some challenges today. So we, we could do something like that uh, for those that aren't playing Splinterlands and just wanted to uh, have a good, a good, good old fun route with Stash. Uh, but I, I may also take some some challenges from you guys out there as well. But let's jump into it. I want to go play some Splinterlands. Let's go. So we don't have a ton of time going uh, uh, left with this season. But let's go check in with our guild, the Secret Stashers. Uh, Secret Stashers, I'm proud of. I'm proud of these guys. You know, uh, my my guild here has been doing amazing. They are all champions, and we're we're working our way to being one of the top guilds in Splinterlands for sure. Uh, this I know. We have a great group of, of people. We're trying to find a couple more members. So if you guys see like here where we're at right now, uh, we're short a couple of members and it's hurting our ranking. Uh, we did have to boot a couple people. We are looking for some members uh, that can be productive. That, uh, you know what I'm saying, that, that are interested in, um, you know, being a part of this, but are good. You know, we, we need top tier talent because we have top tier talent. I mean, look at what, what we see here. What do you see these guys doing, man? You know, these, these are high ranked people. These are, these are guys all, and they have, you know, uh, large collections. We're, we're looking for some people who can hang with that, right? Uh, you can see we have a couple that are on their way out too. So we, we need a, we need a little bit of turnover here to try and keep, uh, you know, keep, keep people afloat, keep, keep things going here. So uh, you can go and request to join the guild. Uh, if you guys have seen this, but you can go and find the secret stashers now because we have a couple open slots. And request to join the guild. You do have to have at least twelve hundred. Don't even don't even try and join if you don't have twelve hundred uh, rating. So, OC Crypto, I boot, I boot, of course, man. Hey, and that's one thing too. You know, when people are inactive, we do ask you. You have to be active every season if you're going to be in this guild. Now, if you're not active and you get booted and you want to come back, you one hundred percent can, man. We will welcome you back with open arms. You just have to be consistent and have the rating. But yeah, OC Crypto, man, we would love to have you back, dude. So go ahead and hit that join request, and we can welcome you back into the Secret Stashers. So we're, we're we're not at all, uh, you know, I, I, especially people who have contributed and and are you know want to contribute DEC and be an active part of this guild because we're brawling, we're building up our buildings. You know, everyone is actively contributing, as you guys saw. Like, uh, you know, here's the active. As you guys saw, like, you look at these totals that people have contributed here: thirty thousand, one hundred forty-eight thousand. Loot Horde is a freaking champion, dude. So that, you know, and everyone here has contributed a, quite a bit. You know, some of these, a lot of these guys have contributed more, more, a lot more than even I have, which is, you know, to say the least, you know, and so we're, like I said, we work together as a great guild. So everyone here is, is a class act. So if you guys want to join one of the best guilds in Splinterlands, one of the best up and coming guilds, this is the one to join. So, so yeah, so go, uh, so OC Crypto, man, go ahead and send that join request and we'll, I'll see if we can't get you in there, uh, you know, later. Uh, uh Scrag Riff is the only one right now that we see right here that uh you know it would uh 
know, makes sense. So we, we may have him join here a little bit. But we're going to check back in. Uh, but like I said, right now, we're, we're in uh, higher level brawls and we're, we're, you know, we're doing OK. We're doing OK, but we, we definitely need to get a full lineup. That's kind of the thing that's hurting us the most right now is we don't have all 19 members, uh, you know, actively playing. But we're going to get back there. We're going to get back to our stashers. So yeah, OC Crypto, yeah, come, come back to us, friend. All right, so here's where we're at. Here's where we stand. We have five days left in this season. Five days, 19 hours. So yeah, like almost six days. Six days. Uh, I've been playing a little bit more this season, so I've earned 28 chests so far. Uh, I'm sitting in gold three. Which is typically where I get towards the, you know, by the end of a season is what I try and shoot for is at least getting gold three, gold two, maybe. Scorix, been sub for a very long time. Thanks, man. Appreciate your, your, uh, your, your, your support there, your patronage. Mustache, love to you. And thanks for commenting. You know, sometimes I know people will just watch the channel and they lurk and they don't ever comment. They don't engage with the community. But I love it, man. You know, I love engaging you guys and having fun and talking. So uh, anytime you guys have questions or anything like that, shit you just want to throw out. Crazy shit on the back of your brain. Toss in chat. As long as it's, you know, somewhat kosher. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Uh, but yeah, so, so I, I've been playing, uh, well, I played wild rank up here up to gold three. And then what I did actually was I went over and I switched over to playing over in modern. And I, I started to give that a try. So we're, we're going to play a little bit of modern right now. You can see me going from bronze one right now, trying to head into silver three. I hate playing in bronze. I'm not gonna lie, man. It's like my it's my least favorite. <laughs> it's like harder almost than gold. And I'm I, and I've have been having trouble in gold. I'm not gonna lie. This season, it, the competition is much better. This season, there's very few bots. We're seeing real games being played, real matches, which is great. And the competition is very good. Everyone's got snipe. Bronze is the worst, man. It really is. <laughs> I hate it so much. Okay. Bronze is the worst. So I try and get out of bronze as quickly as I can. You know, just try and rack up the wins. Just go big and, and, and you know, kind of play it safe with some, some good quality, solid lineups, right? I think that's the... I think we're going to... I think we're just going to go big right here. See how this works out, actually. And it's obviously a little bit different playing in modern if you guys haven't tried it out yet or you guys don't know the change that's happened here to Splinterlands. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, they've split it, right? So now there's two different modes. You have your wild, which is all cards in Splinterlands. And then you have modern, which is just using the, la the last two sets, right? And so there's far less cards. Viking, you haven't played a match since modern wild split? Archmage doing a fine job playing for him. Yeah, fray matches and, and, and guild tournaments. Is Archmage is, is Archmage like that that automation one? Is is that what you're talking about, Spike? And you, is that, that Archmage is the automated one? Clutch news, what's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. We're hanging out playing some uh Splinterlands. There's no chicken. I know that is the worst thing about modern mode. I mean, it really does hurt. Canada, you got you you literally right to my heart, man. Right to my heart. It's like pew pew. Oof. Oh, that clutch miss. Did you guys see that clutch miss? I, I had I had the carrion shade there in the back, but that clutch miss, man, that, that was great. Yeah, Techie, I I haven't I haven't played with Archmage at all or, or doing any kind of automation. You paid a hundred dollars for the token to use the bot. Yeah. I haven't tried to do any automation like that. You know, I am looking into doing automated renting for my cards because that's the biggest thing that I don't take advantage of because it's so much micromanagement. You know, how do you guys feel about renting of your cards? Do you, do you guys do it manually? What, what, what's your solution? Because I found one today that I'm going to give a try. 
But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Now make some extra DC, man. Wake. Earthquake a-coming. This is the, this is the bright and bloom. This is where you shine, buddy. This is where you shine. <laughs> this is a fairly low. Let's go. Here, we're going to go this route. Right, Bloom's time to sign. Splex, yeah, that, that, yeah, Canada. That's what, I'll, that's what I'm gonna give a try. Is Splex. I, I haven't used it yet, so the rent golem, yeah. So you guys like Splex? Uh, I want to give it a try because, like I said, I hit them up today and they said, yeah, let's let's get going on it. So. So you guys like it? Glad to hear that. Yeah. Plushness, man. Yeah, I don't know if you're if you're a, a uh, I don't know if you're a crypto gaming guy or NFT gaming guy, but yeah, man, that's what I'm all about. So you should be on the channel, hanging out, learning some more. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The rent market fluctuates a lot. That's why I, I I can't do it manually, dude. It's it's freaking crazy. I can't do it. I'm not gonna. All right, we gotta put a lineup together. <laughs> I'm over here just jawing away, just jawing away. What else makes sense? Do we can get two, get two twos that make sense in? Well, we could definitely. Yeah, and I mean, like, there's people, you, you can make a, a good amount of money renting cards, you know? So if you're playing and renting and, you know, you got doubles of things, in particular, I have doubles of some really great cards. So, you know, they're not enough to, to upgrade the card, but having a, a duplicate of, like, a Yodin or, or a Llama Mage or something like that, like, that th those are actually could rent out, you know? Those could be rented out. So definitely missing out on some revenue there. And I was, like I said, doing it manually at one point, And it just, it gets too much, man. It's just too damn much. Cannot do it. Cannot do it. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was doing. But like I said, to, to manage so many cards, like when you talk about hundreds of cards that you want to try and manage or something, it's it's crazy to do it yourself. It's crazy to rent them yourself. So, I mean, that's that, so that, that that's what I was looking for. And, and Splex looked like it was a decent option. It looked like, yeah. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good split there. That's a pretty good split there. So, do do you, uh, Spike, and do you think the Archmage is worth it? Because you said the token, like you had to pay, it's like one hundred, hundred something dollars. Like, have you ROI'd on whatever you paid to get access to that? Back to basics. The back to basics is all about the summoner. Hmm. BCRC up in the house. Good to see my BCRC fam hanging out, man. I appreciate you guys coming on a stream. So you, you know th this little the little lineup is where I've been struggling a little bit with modern, but uh, I think that for for uh, for water splinter here, I have one of the better. Like I think I have a pretty good one. Like I, I feel like you know finding one in water, you know, it is fairly easy. We got to remember that um, the only thing that's hard is it's back to basics. So with this small lineup, only getting so much pow pow. Got two left. All right. Halfway to RO after two months, it doesn't quite perform as well as I would have. If I did eventually manually, it was still worth it. I wouldn't pay more than 150 for RO. It would take too long. Yeah. 
Thanks for the thanks for the little insight there, Spike. And, uh, yeah, so I, I'm not really interested in automating my gameplay. I enjoy doing it when I can, and I, I'm not really trying to like min max, you know, uh, rewards or anything. But I would like to rent out my cards in an automated way because I, it, otherwise it's just really hard. Got him. Got him. Pow, 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 pow. Pew, pew. What you know about that? What you know about that stash? That's a good suggestion there, uh, Canada, about the account. Yeah, to have it on, on like a second, your secondary account. Oh, and Spike, and you can actually do that without the without a token with Archmage. I didn't know that. Third account is rental only. <laughs> yeah. Christopher, what's up, man? Another B BCRC fam there. Yeah, I mean, I'm Secret Agent Stash when I'm streaming. I don't know if you guys knew. Apparently didn't know. That's why my boss cat has like the same fedora and he's got the, the trench coat and shit. That's why I wanted that boss cat. In these smaller matches too, speed is a pretty big factor. You know, I would say. Having a good speedy team too. I think it's pretty important. All right. Oh, and you need a pretty good amount of hive, huh? Okay, for some HP. That's that's also a good that's also a good tip there too. Thank you, Spike. In general, I think it's worth it over time, you know, to to have an automated rental system set up. I wish there was a way I wish there was a way that you could go in the system and designate cards that you you know that you were that you were using so so the the great thing about it would be like okay well if you're using these cards then don't use them but then you could go in and change it to where like you have a different loadout and you're like oh it's my vacation loadout we'll say right so I'm going on vacation I'm not going to be playing much now you can rent out everything that's the only thing that kind of sucks there is if you if you do want to do that and you stop playing or something that you, I don't know, can, can you add a secondary account and then just turn that one on when you're out? I guess that would make sense. Maybe that would make sense to do it that way. Well, as I'm saying, yeah, having an alt, but what I mean is that like, yeah, you have to do that every time you're away or what, if, you, if you can't get to playing for a certain amount of time. So it's not as automated. You just send them to your rental account. But yeah, but then you got to send them back and back and forth. Like, I don't want to have to be sending, I don't want to have to be sending, you know, cards back and forth between different accounts. It'd be great if I could just add like multiple accounts to Splex and then just turn one on or turn one off. Like have my main and my alt there and have my alt running all the time with the ones I for sure want to always rent and then be able to turn my main on when I go on vacation. But yes, Christopher, this is on Hive blockchain. Oh, you can do that with Splex. So you can have multiple accounts and turn one on and off. Okay, well, that's perfect then. That's what I'm talking about. So then, yeah, I'm going to love that. See, I've, I've been looking for a solution like that. I, I guess I didn't look very hard, but I've been wanting a solution like that, I guess is what I should be saying. So 
So normally here I would go with the increased here, but I think actually we're gonna go with speed on this one. This is the, the cheapest speed I can get. I need to get this guy up. I need to go buy some more pyres. We're gonna do that right after this match actually and, and get him leveled up. Oh yeah, so that's perfect. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's exactly what I wanna do is have one on, one off, and that, that's great, that works great. All right, so small, the great thing about small limes for, for, for fire here is it's actually really easy. But do you wanna go with like relatively fast stuff? So we can smash on them quickly. But you just gotta be careful because well, Antoy Platoon is there. We can do fire elemental. That's gonna like be the first thing that comes out. And then Serpentine and then Scorch Fiend will be our, our opportunity. Or whatever. They'll be the one that uh, you know where they can attack from any position, so it works out. Plus this, man. Thanks for jumping on, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, I could have done Tanaki. Yeah, you're right. I could have done Tanaki instead of the Fire Elemental. I want to do because th this guy has way more speed. And then he's got the Blast, too. So I think that, that, that that's really... And you can see, like, it's all... He's got a very similar lineup. So hopefully what's going to happen is that my speed is going to help. And I'm going to kill most of the people... We'll see. Ooh, that was a that was a pretty clutch miss right there, actually. Yes. See now, it, it, uh, well, yeah. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Nope, because we got look that that was it. The the difference there between the platoon getting the plus, the plus uh melee. It was a good thought. It it could have gone either way with that one. Richies! Oh, even Stevens. This is my most hated rule. I hate evens and odds. I hate those. <laughs> They're not my favorite. All right, so we're probably picking Dragon here, right? We're going to go Byzantine Kitty on this, and then... We could do something like this, and then we get... Oh... No, we don't have a repair. We, we we don't have a repair here. Oh, that sucks, but not insurmountable. Maybe we don't do shield bearer actually. Little lands, ayo. Um, that'll give us a little bit more option here. We do like get the double strike going. Actually, maybe. We'll Voila. Get five left to play with. What does that really look like? Oh, well. <laughs> Five's not going to work. We've got four, and we could do one. Or I guess one won't work either because it's all even. Renari probably makes the most sense, I'd say. True, what's up, man? I mean, the the Jin right here with the with the heels is going to be. I mean, like we're going against a very similar line, if you can see here. But the difference is, like I said, I went dragon. And I used some dragon assets, and they didn't. Uh, we got the same. We got, but I got two double. I got two double attacks. So that might make a little bit of a difference. We'll see. Uh, and I think hopefully the, the you know, Byzantine heal will help here 
in this first round to give me a little bit edge. Yeah. So there we go. I think that that'll be enough there to get past these guys. Oop, there's my double hat gone. So yeah, we're just grinding some Splinterlands. Do you guys have any questions about Splinterlands? Are there any new people that are out there that have not played Splinterlands? I actually have, and I forgot to say something about this. I have a giveaway today. Uh, we have a, a one of these these cool limited edition physical Splinterlands cards. And on the back is a promo code you guys can see here for a free spell book. So if you're brand new to Splinterlands, I'm going to drop this, this uh, promo code here for a spell book into chat. And this will allow you to buy a spell book, which is a $10 value. And you can get started playing Splinterlands uh, and, and um, you know, actually start earning. You have to have that spell book to start earning. You can see I'm earning DEC here on every match. And you have to have that spell book to get started. So... Uh, you guys stick around, and I'm going to give that away right after this next match. But this one's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it. It's Iza. It's Iza the Fanged. But it's probably all green screen, which is kind of funny. Yeah. But hopefully this will go to somebody who has not played. Uh, if you're out there, I would love to, to hear from you. If you're in chat and you're, you're watching and you haven't played, let me know. Getting people in. You know what I do, man. I've been doing this shit for years. Let's keep battling. Ooh. All monsters, all range and magic have snap. You know what that means? That's a job for Yoden Zaku. The Yoden Zaku? Where is the Yoden Zaku? The, on the only problem I have is like, who, who tanks for us? Is it going to be Forgotten One? Is it going to be Tusk or Living Lava? Or maybe like Disintegrator might be a decent one for this. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to go Forgotten One. I think that makes a lot of sense with this. And then we want to get in all the rest like range or magic. Uh, so we can take advantage of that blast. So we're just going to get all the big guys in here. The biggest of the big. The biggest of the biggies, like this guy's great to have here. We got Lava Launcher. We could also get in, and, and who's fast too? Like we want fast, but also this. All right. Christopher, you've never seen this game before. Yeah, this is one of the, the OG play and earn NFT games. We, we can do some challenges. Yeah. So let's see what they got here. Because uh, like I said, I, I, I went big. I went to like, hey, I'm trying, I'm trying to smash as hard as I can as quickly. But, uh, you know... I'm getting that, but that and that blast. I I I think that there's almost no way that they're gonna be able to get past that. Like it, it just starts after the first round, it like just completely starts destroying your entire lineup. It's just because it's just so much, you know. Especially when you're getting snipe, everyone has snipe. So, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you can't do anything against that blast. Will Yum Yum's a noob. All right. That's okay, man. This is a great place for noobs. Hive is what ETH wishes it was. <laughs> it's kind of true. The physical cards are just promo cards. They're nothing like special. They're just like the team gave them to me. You know, I got them at a conference from uh, Agro, from Aggie, and uh, I just was like, hey, I'll give them away to people, you know? But not the actual card. It's just the, just the, the code on there. And I said I'd give away here after this one, and I jumped right into another match. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I will do right after this one. 
No magic. No magic can be used. Let's go with range this time. Let's 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 do a range build. See if we can't get something decent going here. So we got really just one option. Do that, and we're gonna do this. Trade trillionaire, coming with that challenge. All right, man, we'll do a challenge. I'll do it after this. Well, first we'll do the giveaway. First, we're gonna give away the code on the back of this physical Splinterlands card. I know it's hard to see because it's green, but uh, there's a code on here for a free spell book, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna give away this code right now. So stick around. I think this is all we can really. We'll get the zero in here. Cover our butt. We do. We do need to redo this. I guess a little bit actually. There we go. Well, there we go. All right. So they went. They went with the plus shield. So that's. And this might be. This might be a little tough one. Actually, we'll see. Definitely got the speed on me on this one. Yeah, the spellbook gives you a hive account. Yeah, yep, which is cool. Now, usually when you get it, when you buy the spellbook, you get a bunch of extras. You don't get that with the promo code. So just so you guys, if you guys weren't aware. Gav over here just like just healing himself, just repairing himself. <laughs> and we're just mowing them through. We're just mowing through them. Mowing through them. Bloodlands is fun. You know, like I said, uh, you know, is it a way to make income? Like, uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I actually enjoy playing Splinterlands. It's very casual, which I like. I can just jump on it anytime. You can jump on it on mobile. So there's a lot of easy ways to like just be able to be involved with it, you know? SPS liquidity pools are the way for ROI. Yeah, now that the, now that the SPS airdrop is over, probably right. Will Young, thank you so much, man. Yeah, I love being on around the blockchain with my buddy, my buddies. All right, so I'm gonna give out this code right now, and hopefully this will go to somebody who is new uh, to Splinterlands. And this is how you get your spell book for free. So there you go, first come, first serve. Uh, and all you gotta do is, like I said, you can just sign up for Splinterlands. Put the link here in chat. So if you're new to Splinterlands, sign up using my link. Then you can use that code if you just grabbed it to then get your spell book. You do have to be signed up uh, because it is free to play Splinterlands to get started. The spell book is what essentially unlocks earning potential, right? And some other shit. All right, let's go see. We got some challenges here. We'll do a couple challenges today. Why not? But GG's, whoever got that spell book, let me know uh, what you got. Uh, like, who got it? Got it. Yeah, Chris, grab it, or Yum Yum, or, or, or anybody else, anybody in chat that, that uh, doesn't have one, that'd be great to, to let them get that so they can get started, get a new player onto their Splinterlands journey. But someone needs to grab it. Someone needs to grab it for sure. Oh, look Look how nice Yupo is too, man. He, he's like, I'll send you a, a card or two. That's usually why I ask people to put uh, put in who, um, you know, who, who got the the uh, the free spell book because then I, I usually send them a card too, right? So they just get just a little something to get started. We like to be a helpful community. All right, unprotected. We get no armors. We're getting none of the armors. No armor for anybody. Perfect. Let's go. Go full face here. Hmm. 
Hmm, we got, we got a little bit more to work with here. I feel like I'm missing something. In I missed. Here's another opportunity. Battering Ram might be a choice here, but like I have six mana that I can still work with. So like, I'd rather get something better, <laughs> you know? I'd rather get something better in that spot. Like, let's see, six mana. Ideally some melee, but I'm open. Open. I guess we could go Radiated Brute. I don't use Reach very often, but this actually might be a decent time for, for that. Quid, get back to it, man. Get back to it, Quid Pro. You like Spells of Genesis, huh, George? I haven't played that one yet, huh? Assassin Gamer, what's up, buddy? And and uh, Kaloki is totally right, man. There are so many ways to earn in this game, it's crazy. And yes, I think you go to the shop tab, yeah. It, it has been a while, and I, 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 haven't, I, don't, I haven't bought a spell book in forever either, so it's like, I don't know exactly where you go. Woo! Man, my lineup just tore through them. <laughs> New airdrop coming with the new soccer league. Yeah, just buy SPS and stake it. I mean, I still have all my SPS staked. Trey Trillionaire, sorry, buddy. But GG's, dude, GG's. All right, we'll get, we, got, we got a couple challenges here. Becky. Stash? DJ Bagman, is that you? <laughs> All right, we got Equalizer here and Unprotected, so... All right, this guy's got some leveled up cards. That's good. So let's see. We're going to... Get in some of the old trides and trues. Nope. Get the, can't get both big guys in. <laughs> Although I'd like to. See, I, let's see how this works out. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta think a little bit through this. We gotta think through this. We can we can get some smaller guys in here, and I think that that'll be more beneficial. There we go. Car prices have come down, yeah. I mean, everything's down, man. You know, like there's nothing that's like staying up high. You know. DJ Bagman, I'm glad, man. Uh, I'm glad that you wouldn't be here without me. I, I mean, I just try and be helpful, man, and have a great community. Yeah, Bagman, I mean, that's kind of... Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's the rating for the guild. You know, the guild is for elite players, obviously. I mean, gaming is one of the best things to do in the bear market, guys. You know, when you really think about it and you go back to it, like... Gaming is one of the best things to do during the bear market. Oh, look, Techie coming with the same. He's coming with that, that llama. 
<laughs> He's got like the same lineup almost. Very similar lineup. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. It's hot. What days do I stream? Uh, I stream almost every day. So Mondays and Tuesdays, I do like a specific shows around gaming and NFTs. They're not gameplay. And then Wednesdays and Thursdays is gaming days. And then on Fridays, I do around the blockchain. It's not on my channel. It's on BitBoy Crypto's channel. Oof. I don't know, man. That heal, uh, that heal may actually pay off uh, here in the long run, man. I, I didn't go with the heels. You guys saw, like, it was just going to be heal almost the exact same lineup. It's a very similar lineup. And I didn't do it because I was like, no, that's not going to be the bad. I want to get some more smaller creatures in there, right? But I think that they got, I think he got me on this one. Yeah, I stream on Twitch every time I'm streaming. So if I'm streaming on YouTube, I'm on Twitch, man. Oof, this is not looking good for Stash here. Yeah, I, I guess I, I should have gone with the heel. And, and that would have been a better thing. Like, you, you, the lineup you put together here was really good for this. Good job, Techie. We're going to let it play out. I'm going I'm to let him, like, sh show his, his victory here. Because I'm not going to be able to defeat these guys with that heel going on. And I didn't have anything to, to smash, so... I don't know how long uh, the, it's going to take here to, to do this, though. It, it, may, it may go to exhaustion. If it, it, it may very well go to exhaustion. We'll see. But there, he's whittling me down. So you can, you can see how it's like lower. It's, now I'm at 13 max health. I, it, it, I, I'm telling you, I think it's just going to come down to exhaustion here. But let's skip the results. And Techie got this one. Ron versus Kron. No, I did not win that one. Techie definitely had it, man. He he had the better lineup. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do one more challenge here. We got armored up and oh, even Stevens. I hate even Stevens. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, it's even seat. This doesn't even make sense. What am I well, I, it's really all I can do, I guess. Get another, see this, oh, man, that really sucks, man. The zeros in here and just I yeah this is this did not work I knew he was gonna come with uh with the yod in here with blast and I just couldn't get together a really good lineup I should have I should have uh I think I should have used the um my Cilia, queen Massilia.
yeah, there's just there's just no way. I mean, I don't even know what I was thinking here with this lineup. <laughs> Archibald just destroyed me. <laughs> Yeah, good good lineup on this one, man. Wow. All right, uh, we took a, a challenge from you, Trey, already. I'm going to decline yours, but I'll take one from Bagman, and then I'm going to do, and then after that, we're going to close. I'm, I'll just do a couple more rank battles to close things out. Oh. I guess he pulled it back. All right. That's a wrecking if I've ever seen it. Yeah, I mean that yeah, he destroyed me on that one, dude. Elephantium. What's going on? Alright, another blast that we're gonna go up against. Interesting, so. Oh yeah, I'm only playing in bronze. Like, like I said, I switched over to modern because I was I'm I'm playing in wild right now in gold, uh. But I switched over to modern because I wasn't playing that. I was like, oh, I figure I can I can you know pump this one up a little bit too and get it over to like you know, silver or or maybe gold too with this one on modern. Modern is definitely a little bit harder for me. I guess I'm just more used to having all the full cards, the full rule, rule set, you know. How do you guys feel about that? What, what, what is your guys' choice? Do you guys prefer modern or do you guys prefer wild? Uh, go ahead and post in chat and let me know. I want to hear what you guys think about that one, actually. Hmm. Maybe Scavel's not the best idea here. All right. Bots make wild easy. Huh. I, I haven't felt like that. Looks like, like it's fairly split. Some people modern, some people wild. Modern is probably easier for people that are just getting started for sure. That's, that's the reason why they created it. They created modern to, to make it easy for people who... Uh, you know, are are just getting started and only really have access to the, the some of the latest sets of cards because of the price. You know. Ooh, that was a big clutch miss right there. Ooh, there goes my cephalopod. Oof, that's not good. And see, I put these guys in in the reverse order. That was stupid. Birds, bees, and trees. What's up, man? Yeah, there's so many abilities, right? It gets crazy as you get higher up. Like, there's so many things to think about. Little Leaguers. Right? much of a good option.
Yeah, I mean, so let's just say uh, DJ Bagman, you're right. I mean, it really comes down to the fact that, you know, there are some great cards in Modern, and Modern is fun to play, as you guys can see. Like, it just comes down to there's a smaller rules, uh, you know, a smaller set of cards, so it's easier to manage. Um, and, you know, there, there's not as much diversity, I guess, is the only big factor, I would say. Yeah, I'll get your challenge here right after uh, this match. Got, had to get it. Had to get a win there, man. Had to get a win on that one. All right, gold only. All right, let's go. <laughs> Birds bees just really started playing modern. All right. Oh, you got a pretty big collection power, man. That's more than I got for sure. Reverse and fog of war, sneak and snipe. Nobody gets it. Nobody's getting that, that stuff. Been playing recently. Well, my gold card holdings are not the biggest. Not the biggest. Do that. The direction we want to go here. Probably the direction we want. Don't mind me just talking through it. A little bit bigger here. It's hard with like no sneak and snipe. You can't, you got to get that range damage in. Get some of that in. But the problem is a lot, most of my cards, like they're fast cards. That poses. No magic. All right, Bagman, this is your time. This is really bottom of the barrel summoners for me. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Ooh, poor Riftwing. He never even got a chance to get out the gate, man. Goodness. Well, there you go, Bagman. You got me, buddy. Good GG's on that one. I have decent gold cards, but I don't have the best gold cards. All right, we got time for like one more one more match here. Bag bang gold flux exactly. I'm like, all right, man. I got, I got, I got decent gold cards, but you know, I don't have bag man gold cards. So, uh, all right, we got an another blast with only one splinter. Dang, man, what's up with me and not having much choice in splinters here? Damn it. 
Let's combine blasts with thorns and see how that works. See what we can do with that. Lamacron. I, you know, the Lamacron. I, I, I'm a little apprehensive about sometimes, man. I don't think it, I don't think it does do it. And they're getting thorned and blasted. I love it. I think we got this one in the bag. Boom, boom, boom. Thorn blast. Thorn blast. Don't tell me what to do, Techie. Even though you're better than me, that's okay. <laughs> uh, GG's. All right, seven more match, but I'm going to do one more. That's a good point, uh, Cloaky. It's it's great in blast since they they're they're all, they're not getting any other option. <laughs> it's the, there's no blast. There's nobody to blast. <clears throat> all right, light and bright and bloom. It is bright and for the win. Hmm. Nope. The wrong scavo. All right. What's my fave P2E Gala game? Uh, right now, my fave game, I would say, on Gala, uh, and not necessarily that it's play to earn right now, but um, I love Superior, and, and Last Expedition was really dope. So both those games are, are really great games, really. I'd play those no matter what. But well, we pretty handily uh, smashed on this guy, so no worries there. <laughs> like, Earthquake barely even came in. Bagman, you sent me a gift, dude. What? Let's go check out this gift that Bagman just sent us. That's so nice, man. Ending on a win, and we're going to advance the silver. And we're, going to get, and we're getting a gift? Come on, man. You guys are too kind. Oh, what the hell? It didn't show me my gift. Oh, uh, where do I go to see that? I know there's a way to go see that. It showed for half, it showed for like half a second. I know, like what was up with that, man? I, I think that there's a way to go see like notification. Isn't there? Maybe not. See on peak monsters. It was molten ash golem. Well, hey, thank you so much, uh, DJ Bagman. I appreciate you, man. Mustache love for that card, brother. So much.
Alright, we're good. Yeah, I, I know Molten Ash Golem, yeah. Well, thank you so much for that gold foil, man. And I really appreciate that. I'll, I'll check it out on Peak Monsters after we get off here. All right, there we go. Splinterlands, we did it, man. NFT game grind jumped in. We ground up to another level here, another league. Silver, hung out with you guys, had a lot of fun. Talked some trash, played some matches. You guys crushed me. How it goes. <laughs> but that's it. Another mission complete, agents. I will see you guys next time. Secret Agent Stash, over and out.